Hi, I'm David Carbon, Vice President of Lexco Cable, and today I'm here to talk to you about turnbuckles. We're going to go over rigging turnbuckles. There's three main characteristics. There's the jaw, there's the eye, thirdly the hook. And you can get these versions with the style at both ends or one end. So in this case, you've got a hook on both ends. You would call that a hook and hook. Here's a variation of that where you've got the hook and the eye. So you'd call this the hook and eye turnbuckle. Here's a combination of the eye and the jaw. You would call a jaw and eye turnbuckle. Uh, you'll notice on an eye turnbuckle that the eye is a teardrop shape. But FYI, if you are looking for a domestic turnbuckle eye, you may find that it is a round shape. Um, if the fit form function should be the same, but I just wanted to mention that we have both import and domestic turnbuckles. I'll make one comment on the jaws. Um, here you have a bolt going through the jaw and the bolt has a hex nut on the end. Here, if you look closely, you'll see that there is not a bolt with a nut. Rather, there's a round head clevis pin with a cotter. And these two styles are interchangeable some customers do have a preference, so that should be communicated if need be. Um, some people also call jaw turnbuckles forks, or they also call them clevises, uh, meaning the same thing, just different ways of describing the jaw characteristics. So why would you want a hook? Why would you want an eye? Why would you want a jaw? Well, the hooks are very convenient for connection. If you have a loop, you don't need to mess around to attach it. You literally hook on super fast. However, there may be safety considerations in your application and you don't want the hook to become detached accidentally. And for that reason, you should consider an eye or a jaw. So if you go with an eye, you're going to have the safety that it won't detach by accident. But you may have a challenge connecting to the eye. Depends what you're connecting. Are you connecting a shackle? Well, that's no problem. Are you connecting a wire rope loop? Well, you can come through here, but you may have a thimble on your wire rope loop. Then you have to deal with the thimble. So. You can go with the jaw. The jaw gives you the option of keeping the pin there and removing it only as needed, but it's secured. It won't fall out. So the eyes and jaws I find to be the most popular for their security reasons. All these turnbuckles that I've showed you just far, thus far are open body. That's referring to this section here. This component is just the turnbuckle body. If you have a threaded rod assembly and you're just interested in the turnbuckle's body, let us know and we can supply the turnbuckle body. Turnbuckles can come in stainless steel, which is handy for marine applications and other outdoor applications. So this is an open body, jaw jaw, stainless steel turnbuckle. It's got the uh, clevis pin in the jaw. And this particular stainless steel turnbuckle is cast. Uh, there are forged versions as well. And the forged versions have different geometry on the jaw 
and they can also have different working load limits depending on what the model is. But the stainless steel ones are also available in hooks and eyes and jaws and the combination of those three. Uh, one last turnbuckle that we'll share today is a light duty turnbuckle also known as a midget turnbuckle and these are normally supplied as eye and eye, hook and hook, or hook and eye. Um, their working load limit is drastically lower than a forged uh, turnbuckle and that's because uh, they don't need to be used for such high tension. They are typically used for a thin diameter and just a lower, a lot lower working load limit. Um, the eyes are turned and bent and the hook is also a turned and bent style. So um, if you're not sure if you should use a midget turnbuckle or a forged steel turnbuckle, you'll want to consider the working load limit of your application. So in summary, we learned about eye and eye turnbuckles, jaw jaw turnbuckles, hook and hook turnbuckles. We learned about jaw and eye turnbuckles, hook and eye turnbuckles, jaw and eye turnbuckles. We learned about forged galvanized steel, stainless steel, and then also midget turnbuckles, which are typically zinc plated. In the next video in our series, we're gonna explain some stainless steel turnbuckles used for cable railings and sailboat rigging and various uh, marine applications. So that'll be the next video to watch in the series. Thanks for watching.